Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, my goodness, comedy must be paying because Jim's got some nice shiny tackle on his farm. But sadly, for me, this is not my farm nor my combine. For today, we're at the main of Glams in the heart of the Strathmore Valley. And today, I'm glad to say I'm going to be a land-based engineer. The sight of a big shiny combine usually brings out the boy in me and I've got to say when I heard I was doing this task I was very excited. However, these are machines and inevitably they will break down, so we do need mechanics. Now showing me the ropes today is Matthew, who's a third year apprentice engineer with Agricar at Forfa. Morning Matthew. Morning Jim. How are we getting on the day? Oh, not bad yourself. Aye, fine. Looking forward to it. Now Matthew, I've raided the workshop like you asked, I've got all my essential tools, I've got my 13mm, my 17mm, my 19mm, my big shifter and of course this bad boy. Now my father always said you can sort a lot of things out with a good chap of a hammer. Do you still go with that philosophy? Well there is times you need to use it but these days there is more sophisticated tools for the job but you may as well leave your toolbox here. Oh I can't do that Matthew. How not? I've got my piece bag in it as well. Oh, oh well you may as well bring it with you. Okay. But first it's time for a change. Oh, look at this. Oh yes, I was just needing a new one of these. Thank you. I suppose the beauty of your job is that uh, well, you could be working on a combine one morning and then the next day you're stripping down a tractor and then the next day you're fixing a baler or something. There's always something different, is that right? Yeah, it's always a variety. You're never, you're never doing the same thing. You're always learning, so that's, that's a good thing. I really enjoy the college side of it. And then this, in the second year, there's a week you get in each block is New Holland training. So somebody comes up from New Holland and Aye. does like basics like electronics, engines, Aye. gearboxes and stuff like that. What all can you do with a laptop? Uh, is it obviously just for problem solving, but also for, you can adjust various aspects of the combine performance, can you? Nine times out of 10, it's pretty good. It'll pinpoint where the fault is and then you can go and check that, you can strip it down, you'll find the fault, and then you go and get the bits for it, and then it'll be fine. It's a good way of learning. You're half in the classroom, and you're half in the workshop. So Matthew, you brought me now to Puffer Golf Club, looking at a slightly smaller machine than we last looked at, but equally as vital, because this machine's obviously a grass cutter for green keeping, keeping these courses all lovely and, and trim. Um, so it, it's not just agriculture that you know, if you went down the route of land-based engineering, it's not just agriculture that uh, you'd be able to go into. There's a, a whole range of other yeah, things you can do. Yeah, there's a whole range. There's aquaculture, forestry, greenkeeping, uh, construction. There's there's a whole range of stuff as well. Typical job. I know these tractors are quite bomb-proof, but what would a kind of big repair that you, you'd uh, often do? Probably gearboxes that go wrong. It's Usually about four or five days to strip one down and rebuild, right? rebuild it again. Right, in so case of pulling it apart at the chassis yeah, and all yeah, that kind of stuff. it apart, taking all the wire looms off and everything, wire pipes and wire and... But you're trying to tell me that the computer in this tractor is more advanced than the one that was in the Apollo spacecraft that took Neil Armstrong to the, the moon in 1969. Ah, yes it is, aye. So basically, could I drive this tractor to the moon? Well, not quite. Certainly it's been an eye-opener today, coming and working with you, and uh, thanks very much for uh, taking time out and showing me, showing me the ropes, mate. I really appreciate it. It's all right, it was a pleasure. But one thing, I will need the boiler suit back. Oh, the boiler suit, well, I've grown quite fond of it, so I, I thought these dealerships, the deals, if, if you if you buy a, a new boiler suit, you get a new tractor to go with it's it. It's not quite that, it's the other way about. All right, I see. Oh, well. Oh, well, I might just buy this tractor. What, what is it, about 20 grand or something? No, 95 grand. 95 grand? No, oh, that's not happening. No, they can stay here. Right, Matthew, uh, if it's all right with you, I'm just going to take it home for a wee demonstration for a day. Or a, a week, actually, a couple of months. I'll, I'll see you after harvest. Cheers. Bye, 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 bye. If you've been inspired by Matthew's story and would like to learn more about how to become a land-based engineer, then why not visit the Lantra website today?